I am proud to present this presentation on behalf of Randex. Only I have modified it so that there will be a comprehensive presentation. Next slide. I thank the institutions I work. Next. Next. I thank my wife, she is always stood by me. Next. Thank God. Next. Quinine and Quinidine act on the tropocephalus, gamatocytes, the plasmodium virus, plasmodium bovine, and plasmodium malaria. The side effects are mentioned in the next two slides. Very unfortunately, with the advent of the other anti-malarial drugs, even availability of opinion is being now pushed down out of the market. This is very unfortunate because Pinin has got very, very definitive indications in the present armamentarium of anti-malarials. One, in pregnancy. In pregnancy, only two anti-malarials have been declared stage so far by given agency. Is one is chloroquine, second is spin. Even autism and the New Year derivative that have been developed by anorexia by the research are not taken up to for pregnancy. Therefore, the indication in pregnancy is chloroquine and spin. Second definitive indication for spin is the cerebral malaria. Next slide. Cerebral malaria is a situation where we are not waiting to identify the parasite, but we have to treat the patient and this has to be taken to account. Very unfortunately, very unfortunately, the side effects of pinning are so much that the method of administration of pinning has been standardized. 600 mg of pinning put in 10% dextrose run over a period of 250 ml to be run in the morning for 4 hours and 250 ml to be run over the evening for 4 hours. Still, it has got a very definitive role. I request the government agencies not to send away the order of drugs. In the anti epilepsy it is happening. God knows it's going on. anti malaria is happening. Pinion is going on. anti hepatitis is happening. Cathedral is going on. First has been pushed back. Pinion should still stay in the market for two definitive indications, pregnancy and cerebral malaria. Next one. Next. Chloroquine again acts on the trophosophage compensate the Vivax malaria and uh, void. Next. Now again, chloroquine has got a very many side effects. There is a mystery here. Next one. Now, why chloroquine lasts? Because the development of that resistance is started from the Thai Cambodian border, spread throughout the Cambodia and across Asia and sub Saharan Africa, rendering the important weapon to fight against the vaccine falciparum malaria ineffective. There is one of the reasons chloroquine resistant malaria develops so fast in the entire geographic locations of malaria endemicity that we have to look for alternative drugs. Of course, there are also given in features. But now, next slide. What are the definitive indications of chloroquine? It stands as the number one drug. Now, the only thing is from a personal experience of the treating these both in the pregnant population, non pregnant population, who are filled up here. I have modified the dosage of chloroquine as recommended by the WHO. And this of 250 mg then, and give to this way, it is my personal experience, one tablet morning, one tablet daily, spread over five days. Whereas the effectiveness of giving this dosage over a period of five days is less effective than giving over a period of three days, but still the tolerability is good and the patient's retention of the chemical is good. What if you give four tablets and the patient vomits two tablets, it comes to the same thing. The effectiveness comes out. This nice slight modification for the administrative chloroquine simply stands as a number one. Next. I mean, I have been, of course, it's not directions to be used in the Indian subcontinent. Next. Next. Now, pepperoquine also has not been extensively used as a single drug, but now with a combination of artificial drugs, it again has got a real but. Next. Salafantrin is a drug that acts on professor rate, gemidosis of plasmodium virus, chloral and malaria. Next. Halofantrine now has got a rebirth because it is being used along with the autosinate group of drugs. Autosinate group of drugs, now the treatment of malaria today has come to say after the development of chloroquine resistance, multiple drugs have to be used either concurrently or sequentially. Concurrently, if the patient is able to tolerate the antimalarial, sequentially, if the patient is not able to tolerate the antimalarial, that will be on one to one based decision whether it is a decision. Of course, this very drug has got a side effect. Next week. Now, the three drugs that have come today to stay are artemisinin, artemeter, artemisinin. 
they give the mature tomatoes as a plasmonium earthworm, no action on the killer stage. Go back. Go back and show the action of the attacker. Oh, no, no, no. You can see, this is human life. Troposophites, the tomatoes are bivalves, ovaries and malaria. Not only. Not only. See, this has got the effect on the calcium. Therefore, that's the physiological and pharmacological rationale in combining these cells. That's what now has come. Either you use the combination of sulfadoxin, pyrimethamine, and artisanine, or artisanine alphantin. Therefore, the marketing agencies, pharma companies, are very correctly after the directions from the higher authorities, that is the scientific world, they are marketing the multiple drugs. That is in order, and we have to use that in the treatment of malaria. Next now. Now, so, after this has got anaphylaxis, side effect, everything has got a side effect. This all to be written and noted whenever we administer the drug. Next now. Now again, the emerging residence of optimism starts from the Cambodian border. This is because one of the dense malarial populations of the world. The same thing comes. Resistance to antigen is developed in the Thai Cambodian border with potential for the global spread. It will spread. Because malaria plastic also has to live. And what happened in the global game also will happen in the derivatives of optimism, artisan, and artisan. Next one. Pyrimethylene acts on all best states of parasite. Next one. Pyrimethylene has got the side effect in anemia. Next one. Now, programming is not uh, uh, very extensive in Indian conditions. Next one. Next. Now, promethine is a drug that you have to use because it eradicates hepatic forms of plasmodium bivalent OV, kills all states of hemodosis of plasmodium plasmodium. Therefore, today the treatment of malaria, acute attack, should be treated with multiple drugs. Either if we choose autism and health and treat or uh, self-adoxin parametric combination, it's entirely left to your individual choice. But subsequently having done that, you must follow it up with Promatin. Promatin follow it up for full 15 days course. Of course, I use a reduced dose of 75 mg per day. The recommended dose is 15 mg per day. Next one. Side effects of permanent. One of the important side effects of permanent is a massive life threatening hemolysis in G6 PD deficiency patients. Sometimes you realize that in G6 PD deficiency only are threatened state. Then, next. Next. Again, after the organ is not very much used there in India. Next. Lumifantin is a combination with the artificial group of drugs. Next. Now, the Randex C has now been the research in Portland. Can develop this drug or 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 feel alone, man. And combined with the other one of the very oldest drugs, like hyperactive phosphate, they have entered the market. Now the claim by the pharma companies is always very high. When they introduce a drug, they claim everything. And of course, they have gone through the very all four stages of development. Like this is the first phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four drugs. But if you go back to the history of the anti malarial drugs and the malarial passive behavior, global resistance to this also is going to develop. The only thing is it will take time. What happened to chloroquine around a decade or a decade and a half back? Or what happened to artemether around half a decade back will likely to happen to after long after half a decade. But still, you develop a drug, especially by Indian company or Indian soil for the anti malarial is very good thing on that basis perhaps. The most welcome thing that occurs today is the development of a drug by the uh, Indian company. Next now. Now, Arterolone Maliate is the first new triaxalone A peroxidase inhibitor, especially the action is given here. Critical peroxidase pharmacosphere, which is inhibited. Next now. Arterolone, we just passed this as molecule, there will be random C, and there is DTS here. Next now. Now, piperacrine is an established long acting drug which again brought back the cell butterfly. Some drugs alone do not stand in the market, but when you have got a combination, it has stood in the market. And now, Arterolone plus piperacrine has been established as a drug partner for the new molecule for the treatment of malaria. Excellent. The mode of action is toxic heat made into non toxic hemoglobin. Next one. Finally, summarizing what is the take home message? Take home message in malaria treatment is a use multiple drugs. We treat preferably once a bed for three months. When you use multiple drugs, 
footage used the dress in multiple in the sequence they are considering it during the attack of malaria followed by implement. That will be the one course. Then repeat this course either one month or one hour duration for three times. Repeat preferably once a month or one hour month for three months. Treat concurrent anemia. Every drug has got either by the side effect or by the malignant passage this drug has got the um, uh, malaria uh, anemia, therefore treat concurrent anemia. Watch for drug side effects. Very important. Because all the other patients are debilitated, dehydrated, and we must watch for side effects. Next. Therefore, this presentation focuses on the drugs available in the treatment of malaria and the use of these drugs and the new drug that has been developed by Randall C, which is the most very welcome drug. Of course, I request for Norman to give the details to every one of you, either now or in the book. And it's a definitely, I only wish that some of the new, when I, where I find a new drug, either in the psychiatric drug or oncology, medical oncology or malaria, I feel very sad that such development is not happening in tuberculosis. We are now wanting so much drug, new drugs for tuberculosis with a failure of doubt, that's not happening. But something happens in other areas, it's definitely most welcome. With, for, that was the main presentation of this. The purpose of this presentation want to summarize the Malaysia effect so I can introduce this and Thank you very much. It's indeed a privilege uh, for Android to participate in this uh, online learning. Uh, so all the Malaria subject has been dealt by Professor. Our product is Indrium, land of Artigal Lake, one to TNT and Pai uh, This is the first time uh, Android here has uh, done. India tried, I would say, novel research uh, drug from the house of Bad Factory, which has taken nearly 10 years for the company to develop this uh, drug. Uh, Atirole for Bad Factory is a rapidly active drug. Yeah, has to be proven by investigation, proven by the best mere, the non the parasite, type of parasite. Friends, the greatest laboratory personnel developed in the malariology is our own Indian health workers who implemented the malaria eradication program, first program, second program. They were the highest trained personnel in nitrification of malaria. Very unfortunately, the skill was not recognized. They were paid very poor, and you know what they did. They wrote in the house that malaria treatment was given, was not really given. And also those who administered the anti-malaria chemicals also did the same thing. Never spread that the intestine insecticide said it has been spread and we never spread again malaria. And with the deteriorating environment, which will be in the next talk to the end of the day, the mosquito population is gone up. We are not able to eradicate malaria. Being this in the context, I strongly believe that we should give a profile exist of malaria when the clinical picture is suggestive of a fever, shivering, shivering in nature, three stages, not necessarily very full blown in the picture, cold, hot, and then some amount of sweating. In the normal environment, but compared to the next patient, we are sweating more. In the clinical setting, I strongly believe that we should administer antimalarials. To administer antimalarials as a prophylaxis still today, two drugs, chloroquine and promagine are the drug of choice. That is why the brand I choose, not necessarily you should choose, you can choose your own brand. Larry, I go to Stimulator and BD for five days, uh, followed by the Spermidin. Malaria, malaria is 25 milligrams per day for 15 days. This I strongly feel as a role when we have got a fever undiagnosed. I decided the uh, Ramadan should be given only when it is confirmed that uh, malaria. Otherwise, one should not unnecessarily play with this drug because oh, no. so all people may be suffering from six DP deficiency and there can be strong hemolysis. Yes, and yes. especially in North Indian, it's very common. In Punjab, it's very common. Gentlemen, I was saying this. We are going to be specific. All of us. What are the people that we can do? Do six DP deficiency and diagnose. Patient is before you. We are giving from active. For the dose, 25 milligram, 15 milligram. What will happen? Watch him with a pain for two hours, you will delay it. For the difficulty about it, we are not technical equipment, we are not trained in medical personnel. Why should we be afraid of the situation? Let us clear the situation. Just because glucose 6 PD deficiencies exist, just because some of our population is still has it, 
Is it a road to your know, blanket kid? So you know, man or dress? I don't like it. You give that address, observe for two hours. If hemolysis is going to come and it's going to happen to you, immediately you are not well without the treatment. That's my philosophy. Sorry if I differ with you. I bet you. Clearly, I'm not. Sir, evidence based medicine, we are destroying in clinical medicine. Today, our laboratory technician with advent of computers, everything, computers, now, it has an efficiency and capability to see a risk. That's a level of our laboratory technician, either it will be related to the metabolism or it will be private. Sorry, sir, I apologize, especially in the laboratory. Anyway, that's a level of training of our laboratory technicians. The good old stalwarts who detected malaria and told us this is plus one and five are all dead and gone along with the malaria irrigation program. They have been devastated to other areas in the government system. That's why we have to depend on clinical medicine. If you get a laboratory confirmation, then I'm good. If you have got a very well supported laboratory, the technician has taken interest in looking to the smear for five minutes and give you information, then I'm good. In the absence of this information, use of clinical medicine and treat it as a standby and say, we are clinicians and clinicians will treat. Sorry for emphatic views. Sometimes one has to take definitive views. By the bedside of the patient, the patient is suffering under the whole temperature. You have to act. So we are not disputing the uh, you know, treatment part of it, but the terminology, prophylaxis, as Dr. Uh, Manik pointed out, prophylaxis is the word we use in our hospital as clinical malaria and treat it with fluoroquine uh, only. We don't use, in our, our uh, protocol of hospital is a fever, you know, any fever. For the matter, I think it is a protocol for the corporation of Kenya also and also for national malaria education program. Fever coming, we will give you uh, 600 milligram of fluoroquine. Then we follow up to England twice a day and for three days. That is what uh, I think. I think that is for clinical malaria rather than calling prophylaxis. That's what I think uh, Dr. Mani meant. But what do you call it? What do you call it? It's a clinical malaria rather than prophylaxis means prevention. You treat it as a clinical malaria. Yeah, as a uh, uh, friend pointed out, sir, primarily definitely we don't give admission to the unless it is a proven case. We, but, but we give a full course of proven. That's not all. This is my idea. Welcome, sir. Are there any more questions? Are there any more questions for malaria talk? I once again request the doctors to keep their mobiles on silent mode. We will next go to the next audience. Doctor Prem, ready with the slides? Can you please load your slides, sir? Doctor Prem. Divine therapy and heart failure. Right. Each talk is for 20 minutes, of which we say 18 minutes to make your point and 2 minutes to take questions. Please stick to 18 minutes. At the end of 18 minutes, I will give you a small vocal report.